What is up guys, this is Amin954 here and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to root Motorola G second generation so in order to root our Motorola G second generation connect your phone to PC and you will get this screen and then copy the update super su zip file into your SD card I will provide the link for this file in the description so copy the file and paste it After copying the file, just close the window. Okay, next step, we are going to unlock the bootloader of your uh, Motorola G second generation. So, uh, in order to unlock your bootloader, head over to this side of Motorola. I will provide also the link for this in the description. Just click the next button. So, you have to sign up for Motorola account and uh, you can sign up with the Google Plus account. I've already signed up, so I'm just going to sign in. So in step 2 you have to get your device ID and unlock code. So uh, for our phone to connect to PC in a uh, fast boot mode you have to download these drivers. Um, make sure you have choose the right drivers means depends on your operating system. Mine is Windows so I am going to download uh, for Windows. If you have Mac then download for Mac. Just open and install the drivers carefully. It will take some time to install. The next step, uh, you have to download these files ADD plus fastboot and TWRP that is uh, touch base recovery for flashing the root file that we have copied earlier. So uh, come to your device and we are going to put in fastboot mode. Uh, in order to put the phone in fastboot mode, uh, turn it off and press power key and volume down key at the same time. Hold it for a few seconds and release them and then connect it again via USB to PC. Okay. After coming to PC, head over to that page where it says flash this commands to uh, unlock uh, bootloader. So just going to copy this command and flash it through the ADB plus fastboot files and um, I'm going to cut this file twrp and paste it in IDB plus fastboot. We are going to do this process later. It's not necessary to copy it now. Just uh, hold shift, right click, and open comma click on open command window here. Copy this command, paste it in the into the command prompt window, and hit enter. Pressing the enter you will see uh, some lines of code. Uh, we are going to mark this code and paste it in notepad and make them in a one line. So click up, right click, uh, select mark, mark the code and hit enter to copy. And then open up the notepad and paste that code into the notepad. So make sure you uh, make this code in one line. Just erase the spaces between that code. Okay, select all and copy the code. And paste it to this section here and uh, click on can my device be unlocked. Okay, after your phone is eligible, uh, you will get a request unlock key button next to this agreement. Just uh, click on I agree and request unlock key. You will also get a warning that will, uh, this will void your warranty and all your data. So um, keep in this mind. So in step 3, uh, we are going to uh, unlock a bootloader with our unique uh, key that you will get through your email. Uh, just Click on promotions in Gmail, you will get this unlock code and copy this key and uh, head over to this uh, ADB plus fast boot and then again you can uh, resume from there or open it again and hold shift right click and open command from here and then uh, type fast boot devices just to make sure that we, our device is connected and uh, then next, uh, 
enter fast boot OEM unlock and then paste the key that we have uh, copied earlier fast boot OEM unlock and then right click and paste and then hit enter so there you go your boot order is unlocked After unlocking the boot order, come to your device, hit volume up button to boot. This will take some time to boot up. Remember that all our data is erased and the warranty is voided. After booting is completed, uh, we are going to power it off again and connect to our PC via fast boot mode to flash TWRP recovery file. press power off again then hold the power key and volume down button release it and connect to your PC via USB cable okay again open the ADP plus fastboot folder make sure you have copied this TWRP fold, uh, file into that folder then again uh, hold shift right click open command prompt uh, window here and then type fast boot flash recovery space uh, type the initials of that file twrp and then press tab it will automatically take the whole name and hit enter so there you go the twrp is installed successfully and close the window and come to your phone again okay, disconnect the usb cable press volume down key and volume up key to select that recovery okay you can see the team win recovery is successfully installed okay click on install then head over to the external sd card where we copied the super su file okay scroll down and select the update super su file swipe to confirm the flash this will root our phone Okay, the file is successfully flashed and just uh, going to select the reboot system now. After reboot is completed, uh, you can see that your phone is uh, rooted successfully. I've already installed our root checker application. So um, just check root access here. Yeah, you can see the device is successfully rooted. So thank you for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and comment below if you have any problems.